Next, we want to set the patient up in pressure support CPAP. So we are going to, oops, touch that. You can see here pressure support CPAP. Now, I'm not sure how much this patient needs. So I'm going to initially just set them on a pressure support of five. And then we are going to adjust that to get as much volume as the patient needs. Um, pressure support CPAP of five. Uh, notice most of our patients require oxygen. So on this one, we're saying let's put them on 30% oxygen. And then we are going to leave the flow cycle at 30%. Um, and uh, and uh, adjust all our settings as needed. So here we can see pressure control above key. 20, um, let's put that down a little bit. Let's try 15, see how that does. This is the backup, so only if they go apneic will they get these settings. Um, and uh, let's hit accept and see what we get. Now notice, we are ventilating a 6 foot 2 male, and we want at least 6 mils per kg. So the way that this is going to have to happen, I'll start triggering for the poor guy, um, is he needs, we have to figure out his ideal body weight. So 106 plus 14 times 6, right, because there's 14 inches above 5 feet, times 6 would equal 190. And when we divide that by 2.2 to get it into kilos, we end up with 86 kilograms. 86 times 6 would give us a tidal volume just over 500 mils, right? 518 mils. So we want a tidal volume somewhere around 518 mils. Well, look what our tidal volume is. Our tidal volume is only half of that, right? So we are going to need to adjust our pressure support up by about twice as much, right? 250 to 500. So currently it's on five, so I'm just gonna put it up to 10, and let's see what happens. So you can see our tidal volume has gone up over 200 mils, but still not quite to 500. Again, notice now we're just over 500, which remember we were aiming for around 518 or so. So we're, we're right in the ballpark at 508, 510. Now, if you think about it, when we did volume support, instead of us having to titrate pressure support, the ventilator automatically did it. We told them how much volume we wanted, and then it gave enough pressure support to achieve that volume. Where here, I had to manually figure out how much pressure I needed to deliver that tidal volume. And of course, if the patient's compliance or raw change, that will impact it.